uh, in the past, uh, if, you, if you're a designer yourself, for example, a young entrepreneur and you want to build a hardware product, you need to rely on outsourcing companies providing you with prototypes or uh, you know, manufacturing plants, facilities, and now you can do it in-house. So you basically can come, when you have an idea, you can create it in a matter of hours and not in a matter of days. My name is Michael Sorkin, I'm 27 years old, I'm from Germany, Berlin, and I'm the co-founder and chairman of iGo 3D. I think I'm a maker myself to a certain degree, but mostly uh, I wouldn't consider myself an engineer, so I'm trying to connect the both worlds, making things and building up companies. And my company is helping you know, young disruptive companies in 3D printing technology enter the markets, especially in Europe. The best way to describe it is a roller coaster. We started in 2010 where the patents ran out for the core technologies and you know, it was crazy. We went through uh, 3D printed guns, 3D printed organs, over you know, 3D printed sex toys in the most extreme cases. Now the industry is more settling and you know, the hype is lowering, fading out. And it's now coming towards you know, real practical applications. I was uh, born in Russia, I lived half of my life in Moscow and moved uh, by the age of 12 to Germany and since then spent, um, I think in the last 10 years, been living in eight different cities in Germany, so I learned the language quite fast. It was an interesting contrast of going from, uh, you know, from Russia to Germany, from, from Russia to Europe, understanding different mentalities, but I very much prefer being here. So when I have started studying in Germany, it was quite a good university, but uh, it was really not hands-on at all. I was really you know, frustrated with that, and I wanted to build things, I wanted to do stuff and I started doing it on my own in, in the garage or basically in the basement with a couple of co-founders and uh, this is how it evolved, you know, more or less uh, self-driven. It's difficult to say why it matters. I think uh, the best way to describe it is again like we're disrupting the way how people innovate around the world. So basically the entire manufacturing chain, supply chains, everything is being changed with or disrupted with 3D printers. I think the future of 3D printing um, is going into the medical market and into the food market besides the manufacturing industry. Yeah.